Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make some extra uh, that we need <clears throat> to make our work uh, better and faster and actually also to allow more people to work in the same time. So I'm going to use the file used for project 2 and uh, those plans has been prepared by uh, my students for uh, project 1, uh, sorry project 2 that we did and I'm going to use that to uh, show you how to make XRF uh, for your work. Uh, before, I, I just wanted to show you uh, here one of my recommended channels for you. Uh, it's for uh, Majid Ala, which is one of my best students. And that video you might find it very interesting because I find lots of my students asking if I can uh, show them how to use uh, or any kind of YouTube to use the YouTube, uh, fa uh, sorry, Photoshop to do some kind of architectural visualization, adding background, or you know, like changing a very simple basic 3D into more advanced and realistic way without getting to wait for a long time that in the 3D Studio Max. So, that channel, that specific YouTube for Majid Ala, you will find it very interesting and very useful. Back to our topic, uh, back to AutoCAD. So, what is XRIF? Uh, XRIF is a, a technique that you can use, or a command that you can use in AutoCAD to uh, really take the entire document here and put it inside another file, which is here an empty file that I have prepared for you. So, technically, you will need a folder like this one that I prepared. I just get in here and I create a folder and I name it XRIF. Inside this folder, I have the floor plan file, AutoCAD file, which is technically this one, which is have already done in day one of a project two, which is this, just plans. And here, uh, it's called section. It's just an empty file, which is here, as you can see. So both of them, that's the file that I finished, or the student actually finished. And I want to make this file, all of it, to get inside another file which is section so I'm gonna draw a section based on that file so in order to do so I'll start up an ISO CAD file a new one and I just make sure that the units are matching so I go to units I'll change this to meters because the other file is in meters and I just hit xref that's the command x r e f and then space technically that's for refresh that's uh, uh i can't remember anyway <laughs> and that's for help what's this anyway and uh that's the only one thing that i really pay attention to it so ignore those three and just focus here just attach the dwg file and go straight forward to the same folder so this is the section file which is this one and that's the flow plans which is this just select the floor plan here to make it inside the section file as an extra and just accept the default setting go OK and that's it technically just we need to close that and if you read that it's asking for a, a base point or an insertion point so I'm gonna click here anyway and double click on the scroll to make zoom fit and voila we can see now that's all the plans here from that file actually that file now is inside our section it's very similar if you click on any place it's very similar to block except the block is actually contained in the same file while xref is you link this file to this file so what is nice about that is uh, i'm going to show you in a, in a minute uh, first, let's 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 have a look of what we can do. So now, if I want to draw this south elevation, I'm gonna make a copy, and I'm gonna move that up. I might need an F8 here. And as you can see, I uh, will just take a line here from the corner. So that's technically the base, right? Uh, that's the ground. Yeah, that's the base. So I will keep the base here down and I'm gonna take that line up like this and again move this the base the ground sorry to make it exactly above the base and zoom 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 here so now I have the ground 
and I have the base above each other as you can see like this so that's my line that I'm gonna start drawing the elevation according to and notice that the computer again start to be a little bit slow not only because my computer is old and dying but it's in any computer using extensive amount of extra will slow down the whole thing so it's a good idea to get rid of those extra thing I just need this and that and remember this is an extra and that's a copy of it and both of those two are the entire floor plan here file are sitting inside this file so technically you are dealing with the two files at the same time so I'm gonna draw a rectangle here quickly like such and now I want to get rid of all this extra thing I don't want that because I have it here and I don't want this I'm not really going to draw it exactly as it is so I'm just gonna go X clip so X for X ref and clip to clip and hit space select the first X ref space to finish our selection and then I'm gonna say yes new boundary select polyline and I'm gonna select this guy and voila all the things outside this rectangle has been removed so now I have it a little bit faster as you can see and now doing the same thing for that so X clip again select the X ref which is all those four which is all the file here and hit this place and then go new boundary and then select polyline and then select this guy and then space and voila again get rid of all that now see how faster it is again and that because we get rid of all the extra thing and remember that this is technically the same as that except that you select with this rectangle to, to see a specific part of it anyway so now if I go ahead and start doing the, the uh, start doing the elevation thing so I start drawing elevation which is here I just actually care less about so let's just uh, have an example here a quick example here so if I take those two lines and you know the business blah 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 offset uh, let's say I don't know four meter I don't want to look at the levels uh, just I'll leave that for you guys you already know how to do it we explained that in a couple of videos before so let's assume that this is my elevation and it's technically based <clears throat> as simple as that on the external points this one and this one so what's good in extra first it's allow me as user number one which is the designer who draws sections or elevation so if I go sections and I have to draw it from here to here I should I should have called the file here elevation that's that's my bad anyway so if I'm going to draw in this file a section or elevation now I'm user one I can work freely on this file and user two still work on the floor plan so I can go to the floor plan I can still make changes so if I make a stretch here see and I push that that way I need an F8 here and if I push my hand that way like let's say two meters I think I need to move that another two so now I'm architect number two and I'm working on the floor plan okay and I'm making changes dramatic change I'm stretching and making the dining bigger I save again control s great now if I go to this section now architect or user number two immediately when the first user or the other user just hit save look it's telling you that a reference file has changed and maybe you need to reload and the dude who did that is Firas and that's the name of his computer the name of the person and the name of the PC and you have to even the name of the file that he reloaded. just look here again that's the old xref just reload like this see and immediately the work well sorry it should be here the work actually is now stretched the dining room now is bigger so if you zoom in here and take that down see it's bigger than what it was before if you reflect that back so I am the first user here working on the section on elevation file and I can see it was this point that's helped me to draw the section or the elevation or whatever now it's been stretched by the other user that is really nice technique so you come now 
and you just do that, you know, like a stretch your work, and that's you know that the main architect has been changing the plan, and you have to follow these changes without asking him to yes, and you go close the file of the floor. And that's a good thing not to draw all the document in, in on one file. So one of the architects can work on the floors, the other architect can work on section, the other architect can work elevation, all of them working in the same company in the same place or even in different places. If you have the ability, of course, to uh, you know what access this file, this folder actually. So again, that folder, if you are working in a, an office, you can put that in any shared uh, file that all of you, you can access it. If you're not working in the same place, you can use Dropbox, for example, and uh, put that Dropbox uh, down here. And uh, that's Dropbox, for example. It's a nice software for sharing, by the way. I can put that on Dropbox, give you allow access to it, so I can work on my PC in my home here and uh, working on the plans while you have access for this file as an XREF and you're sitting in a different country in a different time accessing my file as an XREF and building the sections or elevation for it and it's really magnificent way of dealing with work so that's basically uh, what's, what, what we need to talk about XREF we, we have XREF as just to revise XREF that's the main command and when you hit it, you're going to see that that's a file that you get in here. And that's where it's location. And you have to be aware of a couple of uh, constraints uh, when you deal with XLIF. Actually, and here, whatever inside this one and this one, don't rename them. Don't try afterward to change this or change the name into you know, underscore and add something for it because it's going to mess the entire thing here for that. So you need to keep the same place, the, sorry, the same file name before. And you also need to keep both of those two files in the same place. So if you want to go and print, I highly recommend, and in, in the printing, you will need to see the, <clears throat> in the printing, in the section file here, or the elevation file here, you need to see this plan this one and the section you want to print both of them <coughs> sorry then in this case you must you must uh, you must actually uh, carry both files in the same folder. so you have to put this and this in the same file in the same folder don't just copy this guy or this guy right click copy and put it on the usb and go to any printing uh, shop and then try to get access now when when you get this by itself you're gonna say a lot of, you're gonna have a lot of warning messages and you're not gonna see the floor plan into the section as long as you put them in the same folder in the same place so you have to be aware of these two things don't change the names that's number one and the second thing you have to keep this and this you know the the file and the extra fat has been put inside this file in the same folder no changing name and put them together in the same thing that's it that's most of uh, most of what i have to say about xref and i'm gonna have that uh, next week lecture find that i uh, wish that you find that uh, useful guys any